Annual procurement round of the vote. Annual recruitment round of the vote. A statement of the actions taken by the vote to implement the recommendation of Parliament in respect to the report of Ota Geno of the preceding year. Cash flow projection of the vote. Certificate of gender and equity responsiveness. Vehicle utilization report. Asset register of the vote. A report on the loan portfolio and utilization. A statement on domestic areas. I'm reminding you because what sometimes we see uh, a, a paste and copy. So we want you to address these issues uh, as per the rules of procedure. I also want to remind the committees and the clerks that we need to include an evaluation of the compliance with gender and equity certificate as well as checklist on human rights. Now, honourable members, as we prepare for the policy statements, I would like to raise a concern which has been brought to me from the judiciary about the rights of the citizens to access to justice. It's a very, very big challenge in many districts. There are some areas in the country where districts are sharing one chief magistrate, meaning that on Monday, sits in Jinja, on Tuesdays in Iganga, on other days in Palisa. So, work cannot be done. So I want us to support the judiciary and also the population. I just wanted to give you an example. Uh, the, re the registrars are supposed to be 32. Only 12 have been appointed. There's a balance of 20. Chief magistrates are supposed to be 100. Only 43 have been appointed. The balance of 57 is not there. Magistrates get one. There should be 386. They are only 187. So nearly 200 remain outstanding. When I members in a, our neighboring jurisdictions, in Kenya, the high court judges are over 120, just the high court, 120. In Ghana, which is smaller than us, they are more than 100. Just the high court, without even talking about the law magistrates. So I would like to urge ourselves to support the population. They get frustrated. It's possible that it could be the cause of lawlessness, mob justice, etc. So, Minister of Finance, since you are here, please work with the Minister for Constitutional Affairs to ensure that uh, this area is also addressed. I also wanted to draw the attention of the members. To, today is an important day. It's not only Tarei Sita, but for the women, girls of the world, it's the International Day of Zero Tolerance to Female Genital Mutilation. Unfortunately, ever since 2009, when the President launched the campaign in Amudat, there's never been a national awareness campaign on this issue. The only campaigns that are there are organized by UNFPA, the NGOs, and the affected communities of Sebei and Pokot. We have never had a national awareness campaign. So I want to ask the government to pick up this issue, especially because we need to uh, engage our colleagues in Kenya because of the cross-border incursions on this issue. So I want to ask the government to rise up and support the girls uh, of this country and also in the neighboring countries. But I'll ask the Committee on East African Affairs to uh, engage our counterparts on the other side of the border so that we can work together and end this uh, uh, violence against the, our children. Thank you very much.